Hello and welcome to another episode of Indie Corner. I'm Jay and every Wednesday I'll be listing off as many upcoming Wii U Indie titles through a series of 14 quick videos and describe why they're an interesting addition to the Wii U library. Today we're going to focus on 3D platform games, listing as many as I can, all within 5 minutes. Also, please keep in mind that some of the footage shown for these titles is still in early development. Starting off our list, we have Armillo, developed by Fuzzy Wuzzy Games. Take control of Armillo, the space armadillo, as you travel from planet to planet, rolling through puzzles, fiends, and collectibles. Explore 2D speedrun-inspired worlds and fight back the invasion of the evil robotic darkbots. Armillo will be rolling his way to the eShop sometime this year. Next we have Whittle Tree Adventures, developed by Chubby Pixel. Explore a total of six worlds and save the lands with the magical water drops you find on your journey. This adorable yet quirky little game offers plenty of retro gaming elements with some new ideas. No release date has yet been announced. For our next game, we have Lobo Destroyo, developed by Left Handed Games. If you were ever a fan of the classic N64 Rareware era titles, then this Mexican-themed game is worth a look. Drawing inspiration from 3D platforming classics like Banjo-Kazooie and Mega Man-style boss battles, this game features Mutt, a Lobo destroyer out to avenge the death of his brother. Lobo is expected to hit the Nintendo eShop around this holiday season. Continuing down the list, there's Cube, developed by Toxic Games. This title is filled with brain-teasing puzzles where players must use high-tech gloves to manipulate different types of cubes in the environment. With its sterile surroundings and focus on environment-based puzzles, this game may remind some of the Portal series. Any inspiration drawn from there would surely not be a bad thing. Cube will be available on the Wii U this April. Oh no! Percy Penguin has become trapped within a magical orb. Our next title is Percy's Predicament, developed by Maestro Interactive. Percy's Predicament is a family-friendly casual game which requires you to navigate a course and collect all the fish before time runs out. An extra nice touch is that once purchased, all future DLC for this game is free. Percy Penguin is now available in the eShop. If casual isn't quite your thing, perhaps a hat in time developed by Gears for Breakfast will prove more satisfying. Once again, we see another title revive the spirit of the classic 3D collectathon platformers from the N64 era. With time falling apart, it's up to Hat Kid to collect all the timepieces and put them back together. However, you'll have to beware the evil mustache girl who wants to use time for evil. Combat and story progression will reward you with unlockables and new abilities. Unfortunately, there's still no release date confirmed for this Wii U title. Moving on, we come to Infinity Runner, developed by Wales Interactive. The Infinity is the largest spaceship ever built by mankind, flung into the void of space to ensure humanity's home among the stars. Infinity Runner centers on a lone survivor, desperately running to escape the decaying ship and the clutches of the terror within. This title will boast a unique original soundtrack as well as five expansion packs. Infinity Runner is expected to find its way to the eShop sometime this year. And the last one for today is Oliver and Spike Dimension Jumpers, developed by Rocket Pocket Games. Here we have a game that's said to be a Zelda meets Ratchet and Clank meets Uncharted. Jump through different parallel dimensions to influence one by your actions in another. Each dimension offers its own storyline, quest arcs, NPCs, and physics laws. Oliver and Spike should be jumping to the eShop dimension sometime this year. And that's all I have for today covering our list of 3D platform games. Thanks for joining me, and for more Wii U indie game lists and coverage, tune in to NintendoEnthusiast.com. See you next week. A wild gamer appears. <laughs> <laughs>